welcome 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 back my Michelle here today's topic <laughs> today's topic we are we are going to talk a, a little bit about the book that we've been looking at which is called the mind character and personality actually actually that was volume one and that was actually we only looked at what section one and part of section two i think in that book oh in that yeah in that book and so what did we learn we learned that um you need to protect your mind of course you need to protect your mind uh from device certain snares and devices of course you also need to think positively most of the time even when of course uh, people are going to be talking trash all the time so do your best to think positively it might come back at you sometimes but always do your best to not let that sink in uh what do we learn again a healthy normality we love it we talk about the dangers in psychology uh false science and um yeah so basically it's uh, it's the battle for the mind and um it's about um who is going to get control or i should say access of your mind and um will de- will uh, will uh come on what is the word it's okay english is my third language that's fine um whoever is going to be in control of your mind is what you're going to exercise the most so with that being said we are going to look at the new book and i hope you guys are going to enjoy that book as well um and the book is actually called letters to young lovers so and i i know at this time especially when it comes to men there's a disadvantage when it comes to dating and marriage and but the, the reason why i'm actually uh, making those videos about letters about that book is because it it tells you how to Hmm, what's the word? It tells you how to uh, how to distinguish the wheat from the tails, if you if you will. And a bit uh for lack of word. I think that's a better way of saying that. You can then you can then distinguish between those that are those that are bad and those are all good so that's what that book is going to talk about you know it, it brings to your attention questions you should ask what are you thinking about what's your future like and see if you have the same if you are compatible therefore if you do get into a relationship it might not end up in chaos as it is even in this world we live in today so guys This was Mario Michel. Hope to see you guys again. <laughs> Until then, Mario out.